the type of love you're looking for is going to determine the type of location you're going to go to. Beach, for its very nature, is not a place for serious things. Going to a cinema alone is sad. I did it. <laughs> I did it myself. You can't leave a footprint in the night and expect to see you there tomorrow morning. So if you are going there for love, you reduce your expectations. Very much when I was single, I went to cinema and I saw a lady and she thought I was coming onto her. She said I came here with my boyfriend. Yet, the team pay me small then. So. <laughs> Typically, the kind of guys who come to the bar, uh, what kind of guys do you see? Responsible guys, but most of them are not, can't actually get serious from them. Either they are married or they are guys, the other guys that just want to come and show off their money. There are some guys that don't take, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Yes, yes, they'll start abusing them. Even some people will treat the dad, oh, she has some people to When I got there, the oppression was too much. They were in twos, in twos. I want to be kind enough to be like, don't worry, don't worry, I'll pay for it. So that anything I tell her at that moment, she will adhere to it. I did not want to start something I wasn't in the mood for. I didn't really find the person attractive. I just knew it was going to be on a friend zone, just like high zone kind of stuff. Hosting this show has made me realize that there are like four zones. <laughs> yes. There's high zone, there's friend zone, there's a relationship, and there's daddy zone. Finding love can happen in various places and can be a wonderful experience. While there is no guarantee of finding love in any specific location, here are 10 places that might offer opportunities to meet new people and potentially make a romantic connection. 10. Cultural performances. Attend traditional dances or theater performances during this season. You might be tired of the normal watching through the screen for movies. Theater performances is another great way to meet new people. You get to watch the play live, with different people in the theater and can start a genuine friendship from there. Nine, beach resorts. If you are in a coastal area, visit beach resorts and enjoy the holiday atmosphere. You can visit the landmark beach in Victoria Island, Lagos, Obudu Mountain Resort in Cross River, Oniru Beach Resort in Lagos. These are all perfect and cool places to find love. Eight, the cinemas. Watch holiday themed movies in cinemas and socialize in a relaxed setting. For example, a lot of blockbuster movies are premiering to come out and would be shown in cinemas, filled and packed with people. It's a great place to meet new people and conversations can start concerning the movies. You can visit the Genesis Cinema, Silverbed Cinema and also the Filmhouse Cinema. 7. Rooftop bars, restaurants and nightclubs. Some people might like the sound of loud music and would want to vibe to it. Many young people go to the clubs and meet new people. There's like a 20% chance that you might meet the love of your life in club. 6. Cultural events and street food festivals. Explore cultural events and exhibitions happening in your community. Experience the diverse culinary scene at street food festivals. Food festivals are being held and sponsored by the government and chefs, and these activities bring lots of people together. 5. Outdoor concerts. Attend outdoor concerts. A lot of fans will attend these concerts, especially when their favorite artist is performing. You might meet a person who connects to the artist and its songs, and you can start up a likely friendship from there. For example, David Doe, Whiskey, Dolami Day, Bonner Boy, Live in Lagos are concerts most people would love to go to. 4. Competitions Participate in or attend local competitions. Schools can organize competitions and end-of-the-year parties. You can attend if you are being invited and meet new people. Single parents are not left out in finding love. You can meet your child's classmates' single parents. Companies also organize end-of-the-year parties, and that might be a high chance of finding love there if you are invited. 3. Family gatherings and holiday parties. For example, a friend's friend may be getting married and their wedding reception is a great place to meet other single people who are looking for love. If you have a large family and you are in good talking terms with them, you can reach out to your cousins and have a full family gathering and they can also bring their friends. 2. Church events Participate in Christmas services carol nights and other church related activities for example house on the rock hosts the experience events in lagos it is the largest live gospel music concert in africa and definitely you get to meet new people one christmas carnivals attend local christmas carnivals and festivals for a festive atmosphere for example the calabar carnival is annually held in december and a lot of people travel to calabar for the festival and also to tour the city this also can be a good opportunity to meet new people entirely. And who knows, you might meet your Mr. or Mrs. Wright at the carnival. All right, so let's trade it on because that's our list. 
Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> that list. Yeah, let's hear your thoughts now. What's, what's that wrong cinema with cannot work. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> it cannot work. That cinema, it can't work. Because, number one, going to a cinema alone is sad. I did it. <laughs> I did it myself. It's not like... I wanted to, like... I wanted to, like, show that... Okay, I don't really care. I can go to the cinema alone and watch a movie and, you know. But when I got there, the oppression was too much. They were in twos, in twos. I didn't even see anybody like, okay, the guy, you, you cannot see. You did not, you, you will not see. It was, it was hurting my feelings because oh. it's, not like I went, it's just not like I went there to look for a man. No. I know, I know go there to go. Me, I went there to watch movie. I was like, okay, let me eat and just watch something. And okay, like. I can do it. I don't really need a man to take me <laughs> to the cinema. But the hard girl fell when I, right now, why I finished watching the movie, I kept my cool, <laughs> kept my cool. But as I got home, no. I made know. mention of blockbuster movies now. There are lots of movies that are coming. I said, wait, I listen. watched home. Okay. You watch your own movie. <laughs> How will you go to the cinema to go watch your own movie? That's why she met people because no, <laughs> exactly. the horror. Why would I go and watch Love? That I don't have Love. I'll go and watch Love. <laughs> <laughs> you will see people that watch. You will see. Wait, exactly. how do I? You cannot. You cannot see, see people that are looking for see. love. Going to you will see. You will see. During yeah, this time, you know, I made mention of December. A lot of blockbuster movies are coming, and there are lots of people that don't even have like, love. Partners. Love movies. Do you know love? That that's not the love. You can meet a man that came with his girlfriend and is actually interested in you and you're the man. Ah! I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want anybody come inside my DM. This girl won't cost me. Don't go alone. Go with your friend or something. Wait, wait, wait. You said, wait. She said something now. She said you can't allow someone to come to your DM and start cussing you again. Did you say again? Yes. I don't want problems. With so you have cost you before. Ah, <laughs> wow. I don't even know how so this happened. So, so tell us the story of how you went to a cinema. Hey. And then no, no, it was a different scenario. Okay. It was with his babe. Yeah. I went to the bath, to the restroom. The restroom, they are um, the the male and the female, they are like linked. So okay, as so I was, went to the male restroom. He, ma- he went to the male restroom. So as I was coming out, he now came to meet me. My, so no, let me, I guess, saw let me this guess. Guy. Let me guess. Let me guess. He came out. Something his phone fell, and then yours fell too. <laughs> no. Then no. He, he <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Actually, actually, this is the thing. I don't like to like break people up. But this guy was actually very fine. Mm. Mm. Calm down. Let me explain yeah, you. I think I like this story. He's <laughs> very fine and. The babe, oh, Ushia, Ushia. I was looking at both of them. They were like, I was with a friend too. It was not a um, cinema scenario like that or that one. I was with a friend too, but I told her I want to go and eat myself. I went to snap it. Just that was what I went to do. As I left the place, he came out. So the walking path, we met along the walking path, and it was like, hi. Sorry, I like your dressing room. Your so words, thank you. Thoughts. In my mind, I was like, ah, you know, get, you get paid now. So you paid now. I was like, can I have your number? Oh, it's fine, though. Okay. <laughs> I said, yes. Okay, collected my number. We started talking and everything. And I don't know how this babe got my number. Oh. She called me that I know. I know it's you. <laughs> All right, so you're saying cinemas cannot work. Okay. Cannot. Is anybody? Is, any, is anybody who has gone to cinema and found love there? Uh, because you yeah. went that day and you were sad doesn't mean I did not. Person. Please don't misquote uh, me. Wait, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I think going to cinema is one of the best day I've ever had in my life. Because yes. uh, let me yes. just put it this way: uh, Dream Park. Uh, uh, even no Dream Park. Uh, the first time, the first open Dream Park, it was like a fun place and stuff like that. Many games to play, many people. Daddy, I was just with like, I think 10,000 air cash. And I was just like, let me try this cinema now. So I got there. Hopefully, my mind, I was not even planning to no matter, just watch my film and leave. So I got inside. I saw love, you know, this paparazzi. And I saw one lady just sitting on her own watching it. No matter this guy and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, like, so can I? Sure. And she said, yeah, sure, you can. So <laughs> I sat down beside her and normally. Wait, I have to clarify, can you do what exactly? 
Can I sit? Can I sit? Like, can I sit? Okay. And she said, ah, of course, yeah, sure. So we were watching the movie. Oh, it was boring. We knew it. <laughs> it was boring. And before I knew it, she fell asleep on my What? Oh, what? Oh, I'm serious. This thing I'm playing. I'm, so, I'm serious. This thing I was joking. No, she was. She, she was no. That girl needs to be checked. Okay, so. I'm serious. This thing I was playing. I'm serious. The film was boring. She slept off, she but not like she. You understand? But she slept off, and I was like, and I was shifting my body clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. You think I'm playing? And I was shifting my body clothes. But after that day, uh, I collected her number. We spoke, and after that, everything ended like that. But that feeling is that time. It suits me. It's not tangible. I, I, I was not lonely that day because she was fun to be with. And mm. stuff like that. Is there anybody who met a romantic partner no. at the cinema? Is there anybody? Nobody? No. Okay, so I'll tell you the limitations with cinemas. Okay, one of the limitations with cinemas is most of the time, most Nigerian women will go to cinemas. I'm speaking for Nigerian women alone, so they don't come for me. Usually go to cinemas and somebody else is paying for the tickets. Most Nigerian women who are single. Okay, so I have to qualify that. So the challenge is if you go to cinemas, eh, as a guy, if you go to cinemas, chances are you run into somebody else's girlfriend. And I've, I've been there, all right? Very much when I was single, I went to cinema and I saw a lady, I wanted to ask her to take a picture of me and one of my siblings. And she thought I was coming onto her. Because she said I came here with my boyfriend. You get, the team pay me small then. So. <laughs> so that's the challenge when we're coming up. But however, if you, I would say that it would work more for ladies than for guys. Okay, because there are lots of men who probably would go out on a Saturday and then yeah. if you are alone, because one of the challenges, and most men here will tell you this, one of the challenges that men face, particularly when if they go out and they want to approach a lady is when you are in groups. Yes. Because it takes, it takes a lot of um, courage. courage for you to walk up to a girl and, and ask her out of a group of friends. <laughs> it takes a lot of, it's one of, Next to probably jumping off a cliff. That's like the, <laughs> you get so for most men, I think it's best for if 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 you're serious about it, you may want to separate yourself from a large crowd so that you don't have people blocking you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's the issue. So cinemas probably will work for single ladies, not so much for guys. Mm -hmm. My own opinion. Cultural performances. Has anybody been to any cultural performance before? <laughs> cultural in Nigeria. Performance. I was even asking, like, do we have it in Nigeria? Do we have it in Nigeria? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I will tell you this. You've been to terror culture? No, but I've been to a play. You've been to a stage play. Yeah. Okay, so what, what was the experience, generally? Uh, Did was, you go alone? Yeah, or? I went alone. So it's actually unplanned, but it's just like, you know, theater arts group in school. You have a friend there, maybe he has a play. So I have this very close friend. He had a play then, and he was like a lead character there. So I had to, from lectures, go over. It was fun. It's just that people you meet there are usually all these kind of people that will collect your number and disturb you one, two days. And if anybody you meet in all those kind of busy places, there's. I don't want to generalize now, but busy places like that it's just because of they just see you and you're good for the moment like you just vibe very well and they're like and you just kept them company so they 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 just collect your number to make it look like oh they had a connection with you but both of you know you're just deceiving yourself it's just for the meantime it's just so you can laugh there you know it's a normal thing for you know when you talk for more than 15 minutes it just clicks like make i just collect this babe number but it's, you can't really find love there. So in that, your boredom, it's a human something to just want to see your neighbor and like, did you see this person? The way he just, before you know it, you're already talking to that person. You don't even know if the person is single or you, that's not even the question in mind. Mm -hmm. But you guys will be rapporting, you get. Then before you know it, you exchange numbers. Now, somebody that is moved by all these little gestures who think he has found love, but you don't know it's just because you cured the person boredom at that point in time. So who stopped following up in that story? Me. Okay, you stopped following up. Basically. So you can't put the blame on the person. It now. wasn't heading anywhere now. How do you know? Hi. How do you know if someone you just met randomly is gonna head somewhere? Um, I feel like it's from the conversation you're having together. You know maybe this person is serious or not. So if he's talking to you, I hello, the next day, I hello. Oh. 
you already know that what's wrong with this so like what are you telling me that, those are the kind of people that will tell you that but we are not dating now i didn't ask you out <laughs> all right so in this particular case did the person try to meet with you in person after that no it's a hi hello kind of conversation how are you doing are you in school no okay did you go for lecture no okay fine bye have you eaten no yeah, like, actually, okay so the person didn't the person didn't plan the next line of action there was no this there was there was nothing to like kind know, of like accelerate it i didn't most you know you go to a place with a particular intention some people go out to find love i went there to watch a movie and that was what i went there to watch a stage play and i would not want to start something i was in the mood for so the person number one maybe the person found me attractive but i didn't really find the person attractive you get so it was i i just knew it was going to be on a friend zone not even like a friend friend zone just like high zone kind of stuff. Okay. So, that, so that's like under class <laughs> you know, this show has made me realize that they're like four zones yes. there's high zone there's friend zone there's a relationship and there's daddy zone yeah and i think it was also that told me that daddy, daddy. yes now <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we talk about so, so in that particular case, you are you are not in the frame of mind. It was yes. it was it wasn't that the person didn't follow to. There's nothing that person probably would have done yes. that could have sure. exactly. That could have There's some the places time. on the list that you can't probably find love, except it's just the grace of God. God. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go on with the list. So we've, we've crossed that. Yes. Are you? Are you? You're not on the show now. <laughs> 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 there's, there's something to see. Come, come, come. <laughs> All right, so usually we don't do this, but our... I don't even know what you are anymore. <laughs> Just jump, jump in the conversation. Did you give the guy your number? Did you give the guy your number? Of course, number is free. Yeah. Yes, yes. most of them from disturbing you. Yes, you number is free. Yes, I just told you now. She did not want to tell you. It's just, it's just putting you, are, you are thinking of all the times in which you have been coughed. No, 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 no. no. It's, it, it's actually painful. You know from get go that. No. So you said you can't. You, you, How would you feel if I start telling you I don't have a phone or I lost my phone or my battery is I'm sorry, I can't give you. Just, just dead no, it from. there are some guys that don't take I'm sorry, I can't give you. Yes, yes they'll so start abusing you. I've learned yeah. in my own. Even some people meet you in the dark. Gosh, you're so beautiful in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, guys don't like that. So, can I get your number? My phone is there. My battery. Who have lenses? Give them the number. They either blacklist it, yes. or you just watch your phone ring. Or it's not hard. I think you enjoy it when your phone rings. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. I give them my mom's number, but she has not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they don't give me that phone before. Sorry. Sorry. All right, so let's get back to the show. Mister Why, thank you very much. You're not thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> so that's Mister Why. I think it's I think it's really pain. It's just those are that's, it's going back. Those are memories of uh, <laughs> the horror <laughs> film he has, he has lived. <laughs> so we are back to it. So how did we get here? Because we were wondering that what, what exactly is going on. We had the presentation and we listed the ten places where you. Yes, I'm talking to you. You that lady. <laughs> You that you should be going out on dates with people that are sitting down watching this video. I'm talking to you. Yes, you. We had that list that, and and then we've gone down the list from cultural performances to cinemas. We skipped one, so let's come to the one beach resorts. How many people have been to the beach? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I had. So Gabriel, can you find love at the beach? Hmm. Okay. Um, Maybe I should relate one personal experience to buttress my claim. My claim is this, that where the beach, for its very nature, is not a place for serious things, except by chance, serious things just materialize. Um, there's this beach, one beach that they call Eleko. I don't know. <laughs> Eleko <laughs> Beach. It's actually in Ibejuleki. If you go to Eleko, <laughs> you're going to see all kinds of women, all specifications and all classifications, but beware. Okay. You might actually start up a conversation with somebody and it's very, very smooth, everything is going fine. Then they'll just come up with a bill that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for you to proceed beyond this point you need to uh, part with some cash and that would be what it's called the oldest profession so that's why 
in my experience or in my opinion, beaches are like no no, except maybe it's maybe a church event because I know churches go to beach to beach for <laughs> brother and sister. <laughs> yes, yeah, and companies. Yeah, like my department at work is planning to go for one of those beach <laughs> stuff soon. So you are saying you cannot find love at the beach? My brother, you had to. Okay, there's a reason why. There's, there's, there's a very popular drink called something on the beach. Yes. Ah! So that. So you realize, <laughs> even by that statement, that's, that's the name of the, the drink. drink. Yes. There's a popular drink. It's called Sex yes. on the Beach. Yes. Wow. Because it's know. it just it's not called Love on the Beach because it's <laughs> Phoenix. You are about to. What I'm, what I want to say is, the beach is significant. That uh, you can't leave a footprint in the night and expect to see it there tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. So if you are going there for love, you reduce your expectations. <laughs> you will not find it. Deep. Okay. Ladies, as have any ladies found romantic love on the beach? No. Okay, so that's an issue with your list again. I have a friend, and I'm sure you will get to watch this. All right, and he narrated the story to me. Everything was going fine. I spent like five minutes. The girl slim, small stature, smiling. The girl was smiling, nodding, and she was enjoying the conversation. Then one guy just woke up to him, just whispered and said, "Yeah, Oga, stop wasting your time. Just ask her how much." <laughs> <laughs> my own memories of the beach is not um, pleasant <laughs> <laughs> so we're crossing that one off again yep. rooftop bars restaurants and nightclubs nightclubs do you honestly <laughs> honestly expect us to believe that you will Night find club. love <laughs> in a nightclub no. I've heard of a story like that before. Okay, so let's hear the story. No, I don't. I don't know the exact. Like I just know that he met his wife at the club and they got married. Hmm. But it's like the divorce. Okay, so let's let's listen to Ilman. The type of love you're looking for is going to determine the type of location you are going to go to. Just as Gabriel said, he said when, and you also said it like you went to the beach and just state your price. So when I you didn't say that I went to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's your friend. friend. Uh, yeah. Yes. So it depends on the type of, and you can actually find love, but what type of love are you also looking for? You can go to the club and you're going to meet love. I have friends, they've been to the club, they went to the club, they met love, and they're still in love. Mm. So the love you're looking for is what the location you should go to. You are looking for sugar daddy. Go to a very big club, dress I nice. Don't. You meet your love. I don't agree. Okay, so don't you don't agree. A bitch, yes. you meet your love. Let's hear your thoughts then. No, I don't agree because I actually met my boyfriend in mm. a bar and we are still together. Like, huh. so that's, what I said. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I said, depending on the type of love you want, you are oh. lucky. Yes, but the mindset is a girl from the club. All right, so I, I'm going to, I want to, I want to clarify something. You met him in the bar. Okay. Okay. I, I understand that part of you guys meeting at the bar. How did you guys get there? Oh, I got it. Like, it was like my friend's that bar. So I was like, I was staying with her. So I just said, okay, let me just go to the bar today. Then he used to come there. But that day was the day, like we just spoke. And since then we've been talking. Then after that, we talked about relationship dating and... I said okay. And okay, so you were not going to the bar on your own. No. Okay. Were you working at that bar? No, I was staying with my friend. Okay. So staying with her, she always go to the bar to like make some things to like manage the shop because her dad is not always around. And okay. I said okay, let me just follow you. I can't just be at home and you can't be working. I will even be bored. Let me just follow you. Let's just go and do it together as by my friend. And so you were working more or less. You were not working, but in a sense, you were yeah. like working in the bar, sort yeah. of. Okay. Do you typically go to the bar on your own without? No. As you can tell, we are real on this show. Yeah. Okay. Do you typically go to bar on your own without male company? Lounge. Um. It's not the new name for bar. Yes. I just once in a while, not every time. Lounge. I don't go alone. Do Fine bar. Somebody wants to answer, so. I don't Is there go anybody alone. yes who goes alone to a, to a bar? Oh, I go yes. with my yeah. friends. So you go to the lounge alone? Yes. Which which lounge do you go to? So we have, what's it called? Mayfair, that's Royal Mandarin. There's a lounge there. We have the lounge for, I've forgotten the name. This one on this, beside MK Abiola Stadium, Wetland or something, something. 
there's a bar there. I'll be lounge there. And you've been to you've been to most of them. Yes, I've been to most all of, of them. them. No hurry. Alone. <laughs> yes, alone. Okay, so typically the kind of guys who come to the bar, uh, what kind of guys do you see roughly? Uh, they're actually mm, responsible guys, but they are uh, most of them are not. You are not looking for serious love with them. You can't actually get serious love from them. Okay, why? It's either they are married or they are um, guys. Yeah, all guys that just want to come and show off their money. Yes. I want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> How about restaurants then? Restaurants, yes. Is there anybody who has made the love of their life at the restaurant? Depends on what you are looking for. What Girl. you go and find in the rest. But you have to pay for the that bills. Mindset. That's why we are not seeing. Why? You don't have to, have to pay for the bills. You don't have to pay for the bills. Why, brother? You don't have to pay for the bills. See, if you should get to the lounge. Uh uh. Somebody had just missed it for the first time. But she said something now. Let's. But she just state state what you just said. I said, if you want to see love in restaurants, you have to pay for the bills. Imagine I'm approaching a young lady that is sitting on her own JJ. Okay, like I was trained up, like I'm, I was brought up with, you know, good stuff and stuff like that. Okay. I came from good I background okay. and I knew the normal stuff, the normal way I, of I think life. I ship has sailed on that. I know the normal way of life. Okay, fine, I'm approaching you, I'm telling you, how you doing? I like your dress, normal. Can we talk? Can we? And you are eating. Me sitting with you, will I, I'll try to order something for myself, right? Even if I'm not hungry. Okay, fine. The waiter come. Your bill is so, so, so. I want to be kind enough to be like, don't worry, don't worry, I'll pay for it. So that anything I tell her at that moment, she will adhere to it. I get it. She manage. Yeah. Are you getting me? Yeah, yeah. Not like big boy and yahoo guy, not like that one. But yeah. I told you I was brought up well. Exactly. You I'm polite know. enough to say I'll pay your bills. She that means something. He said something like, um, "I want to pay for the. I have to pay for the bills so that she can adhere to whatever I tell her to do at that moment. Yes. So you can't actually bring that fault to the woman because you're actually looking for something to control. You already turned her to a dog that you can give bone <laughs> to come and follow you. That is that is your problem, not her problem. But when you get to the bar or a lounge and you see a lady seated. Number one, you shouldn't like rush to go and meet her. Is she just entering? Or has she been there for like some minutes before you? Wait for like 30 minutes. Then you see that she ordered bottled water and you went to go and meet her. Then you should know that she's there for something else. But mm -hmm. someone that is in a restaurant or a bar that already has a some pepper soup drink on her table, you don't think, you can't expect me to believe that she does not have the money to pay for that bill mm -hmm. and waiting for someone miraculously to come and ask you and to go and tell her, I love your dress. Exactly. I told you. I told you before that she have ordered what she wanted to eat. It is now your own problem or your fault. No, no. Okay. I told oh, you. So, so, so obviously, two of you need to probably get a room or something. <laughs> 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 All right. So you guys are you are striking that off the list again. Restaurant, yes, bars, yes, and nightclubs are yes, off. Definitely. It's not, not off. No, it's not off. Restaurant. 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 It depends on the love you are looking for. It's not off. There are people in relationships and they met at the club. I, okay, so nice how, club. so is there anybody here who has, with the exception of her, is there anybody here who has met someone who you went out on a date with at a restaurant? Yes, I have. You? Yes. You went ah, on a date with? Day. You met the person <laughs> at the restaurant? Yes. Okay, just can you, can you tell the story in like a minute? Okay, I was at a Kilimanjaro in mm. state. So I saw this girl, just like she said, she was all that. I saw everything on her table. Knowing fully, well, I knew that ah, this girl is not waiting for anybody. She has the money to take care of herself. So why would I want to go to her meet her? Like, ah, can I pay for? No, she already has that. So I met her like, are you alone? Let me just ask, at least to clarify. She said, yes. I said, can I sit? Say, yeah. So we talked, I reduced my expectations. Because I don't want a situation whereby I, I like our vibes. I want it to continue. But then she will now tell me off later. 
So I just like, let's go with the flow. Let's handle today. And she liked it. So the next day I chatted her about like, are you up for like a walk? She said she's down. So I took her out for a walk, a normal walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, some ladies will say that you are treating her like a girl. They say a girl, but she will take you for a walk. I think so, no, no. Okay, so you took her on a walk, then what happened? I took her on a walk. The walk is okay And now. then, um, there was this um, song that was playing in the background. Wow. On the street. It was just the two of us. Aww. So, and I started singing it. And she sang it as well, like, how do you know that? How do you know Are you guys dating now? No, we broke up. You broke up. Why? As we were narrating the story, I was just imagining. I was trying to imagine that being. Yeah. I was trying to imagine that being Rashid. <laughs> nah, nah. You can't imagine. Still yeah. love stories. Oh, well, that's not true love. The question is, can you find? That is not true love. Is true love. love. We had some. Right. Okay. okay, so so we are done with restaurants. All right, let's move on. Cultural events, street food festivals. How many of you have been to like? You should have experience with that. You're from Cross River State. You've been to the Calabar Carnival now. Uh, no, you never. You dodged it. Mm. <laughs> have you been to, I've been to a carnival. cultural event. Yes. But, uh, have you been to any cultural so, events? Not really. Not really. Okay. I've Is there anybody so who has attended a carnival? Cultural I mean, I, event. Yes, what what cultural event, event was that? Um, it's in Oka, um, in Anambra State. Okay. Like I don't, I've forgotten the name, but that's where they display all their masquerades and everything, their local food and all. Is it a good place to meet a um, single man? <laughs> single men? No, <laughs> because people that are coming there are ballers, and ballers in the east are usually married. So mm. except except you can. Be a side relaxation. <laughs> Apart from that. The the young guys you see um I in all this cultural setting they are usually fully protected all these ones that comes with convoy all these ones that you know how people people like people to me. show their <laughs> wealth and everything so the ones you you meet that talk to you are all these ones that yeah, they just came to look they just you can't find love there <laughs> okay so Why? you can't find love there. Some people that come from like outside the country and they're in their culture, they're in their yeah. village, they want to see the culture and everything. They can see a baby and like, okay, there's okay, that true, true, true. Okay, like yeah, it's a good way. Well, well, uh, well, 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 many people well, have seen from there, don't say that. Okay, the reason why I ask that is because typically, historically, most cultural events, people won't realize that most cultural events and carnivals were set up okay, by tribal chiefs and kings. Eh? explicitly for the purpose of creating a forum where young men and young women of marrying age can meet. Yes. And that's why you would have all manner of dances. Usually the dances, the ladies will come and they will dance yeah. all the female dances. It's more like putting themselves on display. Mm. The men will come and dance, they will wrestle to show how strong they are, mm. all those warrior dances. There's, and there are examples of that, not just even in African culture, even in the British, they usually have, for those of you who watched, who probably watched uh, Bridgerton or whatever, yes. Bridgerton yeah. had those balls in which when you come of age yeah. and all that too. But if you want to get mileage out of carnivals, you can't go as a complete stranger, okay? Mm -hmm. You probably would want to go and get an invitation from those who organize it. You want to get married to the kind of person that you feel, okay, this person is my spec. Or if you want to do business with the kind of people you feel, these people are my kind of people. You have to go out of your way, yeah. all right? To go and look for where those people are and meet them, okay? There's something which I mentioned in the ante room before we entered the studio. I mentioned, I said, next year, every two weeks, okay, we'll be going out to events next year, all right? This particular week, we were at... Art of Technology Lagos 5.0. Okay, and most of you, you may not know, but um, you know Obi Asika now? Yeah. Um, CEO of Storm Productions and the rest. He's, he hosts um, a lot of all these Niger idols and all that. Nigeria. We actually did an interview with him. In fact, the interview the interview would, would, would air on the channel shortly. And in the interview, I was talking to the guy. I didn't ask him what's your inspiration. I was like, so tell us, how did, how did you get support to start? The guy was telling me, uh, well, you have to be focused. I said, be honest. Your parents gave you money. Mm -hmm. The guy said, not like that. He said, his father loaned him 300 k and he never paid it back in 1991. 300k in 1991 would have built five houses now. You're not being on, you understand? So, point is this if you do not make it out, if you do not make it a point of duty to go out of your way to meet people, particularly once you graduate school, yeah. either secondary school, polytechnic, or university, because most of the time, secondary school, polytechnic, and university puts you alongside so many people. So, you wake up, you get out of your way, you're walking, you're walking out of your hostel, going to for lectures on that single day, you're an 100 level, 200 level, you're a lady. 
probably like four, five, ten people. I've already like, can I get your number? Yeah. Once you graduate from school, mm. it's a completely different ball game. Mm. You can go one entire month and nobody will stop you on the road. Not even in this era that transport fare has become bloody expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Get a lot of people, the, the only time they'll talk to you is after they have paid. <laughs> so that so they don't pay for your transport fare. You understand me? Okay, so the same thing with restaurants. So your strategy is risky, right? So I think you should learn from this guy. If you walk into a restaurant and you see a lady, all right, ensure that they brought the bill <laughs> before you pay. Because some of those restaurants, for example, if you go to the lobby of Sheraton, Okay, a bottle of Coke in Sheraton is not 200 naira. <laughs> it's over 2,000. Do you understand? So that you won't think that I'll pay, I'll pay for everything. So that's that. So just keep it at the back. That's just a sidebar. If you want to meet people, you have to go out of your way to meet people. Okay, so let's, let's, get, back, let's get back to that. So outdoor concerts. What are your thoughts about outdoor concerts? Yeah, actually, very, 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 you have, very, you have, very you have a background in you have a background in music. Have you performed at any outdoor concert? Yes. Just Is it a great place to meet people? You meet a lot of people, but you cannot really tell the character. And so many people come out and they pretend, find girl, they rob them. Did that Ororo or <laughs> <laughs> anyone that will make this place shiny? And they put dark this and that. So you see them, uh, we are in church, they will lift up holy hands. And that's, you know, you have to be very careful. You relate with them. As you communicate with them, you know who they are. So, such places you see a lot of girls. And they are coming, ah, guys, go plenty. They will see how the thing will be. You will see a lot. I think that is one of the major places. And then you, you meet frustrated people too. <laughs> <laughs> that's. They've dumped them, dumped them. So you know how to... Another thing, again, for the guys is how to make some people... They just want to be bad now. They've, they've, been, they've been depressed for a while. So they just want to do guys anyhow. So depending on the guy, how are you going to communicate with them? Make them change. You need to know... First of all, you need to know who they are. Okay, what do you do? What are the things that... Maybe it probably happened to you that you don't really like. So in that such conversation, you can know, hey, this person, they don't do this kind of thing plenty times. And then this is the way to go about You don't start going to say, give me your number. Let's go. Just go to where you collect number, pay money. <laughs> you understand? Most I, don't, I don't understand what you mean by where you collect number and pay money. See, most guys, you they are, just they they want to... Is of, I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying is, like there are some of them, what they said, the, the guys that will meet them once to call a number, uh, can we see? They just want something that they can get from the other people. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Okay. You are meeting a girl, and then she feels, it's coming now. She just wants to use me. Just want to get there and move to the next person. Yeah. So if you go with that, uh, may I just have your number? What are you doing? Have you eaten all those children? <laughs> this thing. The, the girl might just say, this one is not even serious. Yeah. And another thing again, I feel some of the girls are saying, I don't really like this guy. Even he might not lead to anyway. Because you are still young. If you get to 35, <laughs> sing, <laughs> you will not look at the way the guy is. You just be looking at him and say, I fit a polish this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Me just resemble what I want. So I, I will pause you there. Do you want to respond? Because you had a response in the bus. <laughs> not all women wants to get married. Men are not the price. Love is not a scam. Stop saying when she gets to 35, she um, she will be looking at how she wants to polish him and everything. No. All right, so she has just uh, debunked you. Okay, in the <laughs> wait. See, we are talking about majority. I'm not saying everybody. Yeah. So you, are, so you are saying that effectively, you are saying that uh, the women who have the luxury, you are saying the women who have the luxury of saying that uh, this person is not my spec are usually much younger women. Much younger women. They, that they the older. They have to, I'm talking about experience. I've I met so many people in church. Their age will shock you. <laughs> okay. They want to. They want. Okay. This is I, I, as much as possible. As much as I would love you to continue the conversation, this is this is supposed to be a festive season. We need the love of your life. <laughs> <laughs> the angle you are going there <laughs> is okay. Is, okay. Let me go. Like <laughs> depressing and existential crisis. <laughs> See, so, you, you know, I always try to be real. 
I, w- I know you're trying to be real. Okay, so I'll tell you. Let me, so that we don't, um, because we have to bring the show to an end. Okay? This show existed not just to spout hope to people. This show existed to open to open the eyes of people that, okay, if this, if this is what you're looking for, you may have to go outside the boundary of your day-to-day activities to go and find it. Yep. Okay? Christmas carol competitions. Do those exist? Yes. Yeah. In churches, competitions. Christmas carol competitions, do they exist? In schools. In schools. Is there anybody? Okay, so have you ever been to a Christmas carol competition? Yeah. By show of hands. I don't know what that looks like anyway. <laughs> I've never been to one. I don't know what it different, looks like. Different churches, choir, they all come together. Is it possible to meet people there? Yes. 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 Those are the right places. Yes. Yes. Right places. Yes. Those are the right places. I don't right think it's the right So people pretend right they are in their best, they are in their best pretense form. They, yeah. they pretend a lot. They will come there, act only. They will even sing. They, they are the best. <laughs> they are the best. I don't the think so. Is, they pretend a lot. Can I say ah. something? The problem is we saying, can you find love in certain areas? They are, there's no way you can, you find, can love. find love. Anyway. Yeah. But you yeah. meet yeah. someone, you get to know them before you fall in love. You can't just yeah. say, I fall in love with you. No, I you meet know. them. Uh, so okay, can let, you me, meet let me people rephrase that. Yes. Can you meet the kind of people? Yeah. Can you be the kind of single people yes. that you would love to marry? Yes, yes. yes. exactly. Yeah. That's you the question. In the club, in the yeah, but there club, are some places everywhere. that you can get it. There are some places you have a much more higher chance of yeah. Yes, yes. 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 But all the places like you can find people yes. in universities. Yes, than yes. you can find them in the old nursing, yes. old people's yes. nursing home. You get the point. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not saying no. <laughs> no. Also, I no, 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 it's because she said that all the places I mentioned is good. That's why I'm giving her hand because some people say no, no. They are all good. It depends on what you want. Anybody can get any. We are talking about the top places. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what what I'm I'm and you also not mention the top places. Excuse me. Where are the top places? Online. Yeah. 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 How? Yeah. Are you saying you are very true. Very yeah. true. Yeah. People don't know. Uh, there's a difference between physical. You realize, interaction. you realize that you are sitting beside Rashid. <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference between physical interaction and online interaction. You will never People, be able to When you meet someone true. physically, they mm-hmm. lie to you. They pretend. They give mm-hmm. waiters very right. Oh, they treat the doorman with respect. But online, they lie. you can't lie. Online, you can't see all that. Yeah, well, you you so there are ways you can actually. I'm not your sister. I don't show you. You will date your grandfather. You won't know. See, online. Online, eh? Yeah, yeah, but you get the opportunity to see the person and yeah. gather life with the bomb. You can't it's not like talk online. Talk. Okay, okay, so I, I will tell you this. I will say this. Our assumption is that whoever is following this list has a bit of like a fairly active social life. Mm-hmm. Okay? If you, have, if you have a fairly active social life, you probably may not have time to sit down to go online. All right? For example, I haven't checked my WhatsApp probably since morning or... And part of the reason why is because I'm hosting this show. There are lots of people here. You understand? Some of you will meet. So you can't compare physical and online interactions. You, you are, your chances of being deceived very, on the internet very, are far very, higher. Very, very, very Someone high. can send, someone can post a picture hmm. of 10 years ago. Mm, yes. Okay? The same person. You see, like, you look. <laughs> <laughs> is this you? Your mom. Yeah, I'm sure this sorry, is I was even expecting to say maybe your neighborhood is very, very mm. good to okay, fall in love. Very, very possible to fall in love with your neighbor. Depends on your neighbor. The girl talking, she, yeah. the girl talking, she <laughs> added me to her Instagram. I asked for her Instagram. And I was scrolling the picture. I was like, don't tell me this, you. She said, um, she looked like a grown up mother. <laughs> Who's that? I, I, I self okay. talking or like so saying or like up on no, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys when we were coming inside the bus, so I asked her, uh, uh, "What was her username?" So uh-uh. I saw her stuff. I was like, "What was this? This can't be because you." Because I was on daily and yeah, those picture but look at the perfect. Uh, he killed your love. <laughs> 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 All right. So, well, so if, if you feel know. online works for you, all fine and good. Fine. It's just that it's. In the world of scammers and all that, it's extremely, it's extremely, it's extremely risky. Very, very risky. <laughs> okay, so family gatherings. So we're counting on so family gatherings and also to mention that presentation that um, 
probably you should gather your cousins together. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they bring their friends. They come no, they with bring their, their friends. friends. No. And yeah. so that way, you can, that way you can meet that's, friends, that's, that's friends yes. of your cousins. Yes, that's yes. very possible. That one is very good. That one is very good. My recommendation. Very, very good. Yes, it's no. very, very good. It's I will best. choose meeting people by recommendation. Yeah. Yeah. You know this person. Ah, this girl is very good. Mm. Yeah. She needs a good guy. But you know so many scammers. Then you know one genuine guy that is good okay just say man by introduction this girl is good good. if you like this girl this girl is sweet too everything is okay so she can't pretend to you because you're not interested in her (laughs) so that's way i believe you can that 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 should be one of the best ways yes because when you're talking about someone um pretending you that one will not come much because you already know this person Mm. and you know the guy is there, is, there, is there anybody that disagrees with family gatherings? Because all of you are in support, but is there anybody that disagrees? You disagree. <laughs> is there anybody else? <laughs> Kofu? No, I don't disagree. <laughs> you, don't like, you don't disagree with family yeah, gatherings? Is there anybody that has issues with with uh, going to family gatherings and then meeting friends of your cousins? Is there any uh, drawback? Is there any problem with that? Uh-huh. What's the problem? Some of some my cousins that uh, My cousins that have gone to their place before. He brought some girls to me, like, their taste in girls, completely different. <laughs> <laughs> but what they told me was like, ah, oh, she's very nice, she's okay, she's this, you like her. I was like, how do you know I would like her? She don't worry, just come. <laughs> so I came. Let me not, I'm not trying to, like, shame anybody that it is that they discriminate. But her choice in music is disgusting. Uh, like what? 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 Like I might not like her. So you can't expect me to, you just can't bring your friends and tell me, just, no, just go out with her. Like, you'll be okay. And I spent transport from Lagos to Kaduna just to come. Eh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we go from so Lagos to Kaduna. The Kaduna, the tree. <laughs> yeah, the tree. Ah, no. Okay. Ah. So that <laughs> but so everybody's in agreement that family gatherings are much more, far yes. better than. So church events. Ooh. Yes. Are church events a good place to meet people? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. How is it? Yes. Yes. I'll be Christian. No. Tell me that you're I'll be Christian. Okay, so you're saying religious events, church events are a good place to yes. meet people. Yes. All right, so then finally, top on the list is Christmas carnival. I think we've spoken about carnival yeah. before yeah. and all yes. that. So, all right, so like we said, there are concerts, organi- country, um, churches, organizations, um, they organize concerts and carnivals. And I think you want to be on the lookout. Now, we're not being paid for this, but if you go online, you can constantly Google events in your city. Okay, one of the one of the amazing things that happened to us this week, or one of the amazing things that happened to me this week, okay, being the host of this show, is because usually when we host the show, we usually have like a budget for, for feeding and stuff like that. And so when we went to Art of Technology Lagos, I was pleasantly surprised that they actually gave us three meals. I was pleasantly surprised, right? The chicken was good, right? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was so <laughs> You're still dreaming about it. So, ah, that was, that was, that was good. good. So, so, but the point is this. You may want to be on the lookout for. So if you go online, Google events in my city, there's a website called allevents.in. Also, and then they'll give you a list of events that are coming up in your neighborhood, in Lagos, if you're in Lagos, or in any city you are in. So it's a great place, a great way to meet and connect with people. So those are... Those are um, the Dark Post Show's top 10 places to find love this Christmas. Yeah. Thank you very much for staying till the end of the show. And you guys, you've been a very, very wonderful audience. All right, so, so round of applause for the